Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Danielle and Sam here from Vogue Bandwagon, and today we are sharing with you our March favorites. I can't believe we are already at the end of March. Seriously. That's crazy. That flu. Yeah. We but, know. um, anyways, there's no like updates to tell you guys, so we'll just get right into it. <laughs> okay, my first favorite, obviously, you guys should be expected. Oh. <laughs> You guys should be expecting this is the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. I've been wearing this every day and I absolutely love it. All right, so my first favorite is, I'm gonna do both my skin pairs first. Yes. Yes. I love yes. that. Yes. Um, as you saw in my drugstore haul slash review, I found these at Shoppers again. I can after never find them. Not being able to find them for like I had probably hadn't seen them in six months. Yeah. So there was a bunch of them, so I grabbed a bunch. But they're so good. We, uh, I got the Yes to Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask, which is the best when I'm breaking out. Like it literally just. It's so good. It fixes my face. I feel like it just like pulls everything out and just. Yeah. I and love it. That's one of my favorites. They're what like three bucks, three ninety nine. Yeah, they're so cheap. <laughs> um. Okay. Next, I have my which I. Talked about before in a video. Um, my kiss lashes. I got a pack of five, and I'm wearing these ones right now. They're the number eleven, and Sam's wearing flirty. Flirty. Yeah. So um, these are amazing. They're so good. I can't believe for the price, the quality of these are awesome. Um, they're soft bandless. Hair. They're soft. They're light. Um, yeah, these are awesome. I think I got a pack of five for fourteen or fifteen dollars from Walmart. Mm -hmm. Love. Yeah. So my next favorite is the moisturizer that I've been using for a couple months now. Um, if you read my uh, winter everyday skincare routine for dry and sensitive skin in the mornings and some nights, I use the Hydrogenius by L'Oreal. <sighs> so good. It's like 72 hour moisture. It has corrected a lot of the texture on my skin actually just by moisturizing and like plumping up fine lines. It is so good and it smells pretty good too. So yeah, I've been loving that. L'Oreal stuff usually smells good. Yeah. Uh, next, I'll do my skincare. So I've been obsessed with um, La Roche Posay, their skincare. It is agreeing so well with my skin that um, this is the first time that I have repurchased a moisturizing cream. And um, so mine just ran out. This is literally still in the box. I cut open my last one to like get everything. <laughs> they do that all cheap the time. AF, and there's so much <laughs> left. So I cut it open and I've been scooping it out. This is the new one. It's from the Effaclair line. So this is the Effaclair Matte. Um, absolutely love. If you have oily skin, honestly, go pick this up. Like, it's just outstanding. I don't think I will be switching from this like it's it's so good for your morning routine and i honestly can't remember how much this is i think it's under thirty dollars that's good so it's it's a good price point and amazing company okay so another favorite um no surprise from my drugstore haul was the master chrome by maybelline their highlighters oh, i got molten rose gold i love so rose gold. good I'm too pale, I think, to pull off their gold highlighter, but the rose gold is so pretty. I wear it in the corners of my eyes. It's even on top of my eyeshadow a little bit. Oh my god, it actually cheeks. swatches so it's well. It's so good. <laughs> like, I can't. I have no bad things to say about this, except, like, there's a lot of kick up in the pan. It's powdery yeah. in the pan, but not on your skin. So, no complaints here. It's a March fave. Oh, okay, next. Um, yes, I know this came out forever ago, but it is still hyped up for a good reason. <laughs> yeah. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Freaking love it. Uh, the colors are amazing. The texture, the blending is so easily, easily, so easy. Um, and so pigmented. Like. So, that was my next one. So <laughs> pigmented. Love this and the Ugh. price point amazing. If you are in Canada, you will get charged duties. Keep that in mind. Um, I think duties are like twenty bucks. So if you're paying thirty bucks for this palette plus twenty dollars duty, it ends up being a fifty dollar palette. Is there um, shipping? Yeah, I think so. It's a very small mm -hmm. shipping amount. Um, 
So I always tell people when they ask me if they want this palette, make your order worth it. Like, add in a couple other things from Morph, just make that $20 duty fee worth it. Um, yeah, I very rarely order one thing from Morphe because I have to pay that $20 duty fee. Yeah, make it count. But such, like, their makeup is so affordable, even their brushes are affordable, and totally worth the, the uh, that extra cost. Okay, next is a concealer. It's the... Um, lasting finish 25 hour breathable concealer by Rimmel. Guys, like I can't even. It comes with this little sponge tip applicator, as you've seen, like I've talked about this too, but it's so good. I use this on my eyelids to prime them for shadow. I use it under my eyes, use it on my blemishes, and it's just so good. It covers so well for such like a lightweight concealer, and it lasts all day. Doesn't crease, doesn't move. And how much was it? I don't know, like Rimmel's under usually, 10 bucks. Yeah, Rimmel's pretty cheap. Like the packaging though, I'm gonna it have to- hair on your lip. I can see it. Where? How do you not feel that? Uh, the Kona. <laughs> it's still, unless it's the lip hair, I'm just joking. <laughs> You didn't feel that? that? Was, no, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, my last favorite is a brush. It is um, my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush like that I've never used a denser brush like it's so good it really just packs the foundation on oh I'll go over here hold on I'm getting lines <laughs> um, but it's so good it packs the foundation on it gives such good coverage too I find that when I use like my beauty blender or something like that I don't get um, as good coverage as I do with like a good stippling brush so I'm gonna continue using this it needs a wash but it's been such a favorite and I paid $7.99 for it, so I really can't complain. I'm not even joking. Mm -hmm. Walmart, $7.99. Run. Start the car! Start the car! And uh, that's <sighs> all we got for today, guys. Uh, we'll post all the links down below of the products we mentioned today, so in case you want to pick any up, they're down below. They're both bandwagon approved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, guys. We love your support. Don't forget to share this video. You can reach out to us um, on any of our social handles below. And uh, feel free to email us if you have any ideas or want to hear anything from us. We love to hear what you guys want to see us do. I love to get emails. <laughs> I just love to get emails. Just email us. <laughs> yeah, we love talking with you guys. Old and new subscribers, it's awesome. But we will see you next time. Bye.